Good morning. I'm early because I need to add people to the group. All right, let's get back. I added you. Welcome, welcome. Here we go. No, I'm early by a minute. So I just wanted to give a shout out. I'll do it right now because I'm early. Um, to all you guys who have been sharing this page to your friends, there have been in this week alone over 300 people that have added to this page. And they're all people that I don't need to, um, what do they call that? Do they call it vet or do a background check? Because I background check everybody that comes into this page. Um, but because they are friends of all of yours, I'm not background checking all of those people. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for uh, turning people onto this page. That makes me super proud and humbled. Um, yeah, that being said, I did have to get rid of two people yesterday <laughs> off the page because uh, hopefully didn't anybody, nobody saw, except me that's up in the middle of the night, the stuff they were posting. So I had to get rid of them because I guess I didn't background check them well enough. So hi to everybody who is here. I see all of you. I see Kelsey, my little friend Kelsey, and Judith and Ch Chandra, Lisa, Terry, Terry. I'm making challah today. Challah back. Kathy, Janice. Okay, you guys are all here. So I did my little thank you. Um, thank you to you guys, too, for showing up every day. Hi, Carrie. Um, I appreciate that more than I can tell you being sequestered in this house. You know, we're all sequestered, so it's pretty much fun just being with each other. My craft group of girlfriends and I are trying to figure out a way to actually see each other and craft together. So I think we're going to try Zoom. <sighs> I really don't feel like doing anything today, so maybe we'll just talk. <laughs> But I did say today is the playful page, so we'll come up with a playful page. So I did make a list because really I just don't feel like the rain is back. It's snowing a little bit. I'm just feeling bleh. like, please, Lord, give me some vitamin D. I could really use it. So I wanted to talk about the composition book. Tomorrow's theme is um, ephemera and washi tape. So I'm not going to touch a whole lot on washi tape today. But I did have it on my notes here because I want to show you this book. So I buy these 50-cent composition books by the case full when Target or Staples or Office Max or one of those places has them for... Hi, Corey Dogwood. Are you here? Oh, that's weird. Just popped up. Um, yeah, Chandra, I am so tired. And I just... It's been days since I've slept good. I'm just so worried about our world. Let's not talk about that. That's why we're art journaling. Stephanie Bailey, I'm so happy you're here. Um, I just want to tell you, sorry, <laughs> Stephanie, there's a password that you use to get into the private group, Lettering with Lindsay. So with your lesson one, there should be a password for the videos and the downloads and stuff. That's the password you want to give me to get into that group. I can't just add you without that, unfortunately. I read all your little notes last night. Okay, back to this. So I buy composition books when they're cheap, and I use them for everything in the world. So I like to cover them with paper. This one had paper and washi tape, and then the whole thing started falling apart. So I used packing tape on top of it because this was my book that went to all the craft shows with us. And I would keep a log. See, I put more paper in here and on the back. And I kept a log of what we sold, my friend Karen and I. This was from the very first year. So Karen told me I had to write everything down that I sold, and now I look back at it and just giggle because I, um, I don't think I would ever do these things again. But it's kind of fun to see what I took with me. Um, there's some blank pages. It tells me how much I sold. So what I wanted to show you about this, let's see if I can find a blank page. So I have one, I think three, two, three pieces of um, composition book paper, right? And I haven't even glued them together, but you in subsequent books I have. But I use the washi on the edges, and of course this one was 
look at the how yellow the washi is when they tell us all this stuff is acid free and archival and they lie through their teeth companies anyway so i glue the three pages together either with a glue stick or like this one i didn't i just took them and sandwich them together and put a piece of washi tape here. So you can put anywhere from two to three pages together so that when you're using sprays and inks and stuff, it doesn't go through to the other side. And since I haven't finished this book, I'll just show you. Since Roma's here, she can see my favorite new product is this Lindy's stuff. It just makes me so happy. Oh, and I can't find my heat gun yet, but it's there. Don't anybody worry about that. Well, now I can't show you that it doesn't soak through. Yes, I can. Watch. Look, see? It doesn't soak through to the other page. Oh, and how cool is that? So anyway, no matter how thick you do, this is a Sharpie. And on a regular piece of um, composition book paper, it would soak through to the backside and you would just be crying right now. Shamel is here. Hi, Shamel. Hey, if you guys want to follow the coolest scrapbooker on God's earth, go follow Shamel Lane. She's right there. You can see her little thing. She does the live videos, which gave me the idea to do live videos because I thought it was so cool when I get up at like three o'clock in the morning and I can watch her live from London or England or wherever she is. Um, anyway, go follow her. So see the, like it's pretty well dry. See, it doesn't go through. So um, I'm just going to close it because what we were really talking about was washi tape. And what you can do then also is you can either stitch and create a pocket so you can put stuff or you can use, um, don't cry, Missy, I love you. Uh, she's another one of my young friends who told me that the reason that she got into this whole world of um scrapbooking and graphic arts and she's way surpassed what I do. She works for American Craft. So if you buy American Craft paper, it's probably, um, am I saying it right? It's Chamel, right? It's Chamel like Michelle. That's how she introduced herself to me. Anyway, she told me I was the reason she got into this field, which just makes me giggle. I buy full lines of whatever she makes. I buy all the stickers, the stamps, the paper. It's just so cute. Okay. I digress. So you can take um, double-sided tape or glue stick or whatever you have. I would normally do this ahead, but for showing you that you could take and have a pocket. Oh, this page has four pages, of course. So now I have a pocket. See, it doesn't go through. So you can glue pages together at the bottom. So it's so cute, right? Where's that blue page? Because holy macaroni. I love this. I love this stuff. And it's got a sheen. I don't know if you can see it. Somebody went yesterday to Lindy's Stamp Gang and bought all the colors that I had. So if you, Janice, it's a love fest, right? Chamel is amazing. Um, uh, so if you go to Lindy's Stamp Gang, tell them you saw it here, please, because that'll make them happy, you know? Okay, so that answers the questions about the. Um, <laughs> Uh, she's just making me giggle. That answers the questions about the washi tape and the composition books, right? So if you have any three ring binders with just plain notebook paper in it and you can't get out like the rest of us who are just stuck in our homes, go grab one of those out of your kid's pile or a composition book. And the other thing I was going to tell you, like this book, you could paint over this. You could take this piece of paper and glue this down and then keep going. You know what I mean? This can be part of your background. So just know that just because you filled something up doesn't mean it's done, right? Okay, so I wanted to talk about that. Check, composition book, washi, we talked about that. Oh, monthly prompts. Uh, my printer is not functioning this morning and I wanted to print out the March monthly prompts that are here on this page for creative hand lettering with Lindsay. Welcome, Doreen. Um, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to say. I wanted to say welcome to all the newbies because there are so many newbies because of this art journaling thing. Um, so welcome. Thanks for joining and thanks to your friends for telling you to join. Okay, so I wanted to talk about monthly prompts, but I cannot because I cannot print them out. So if you go to the files section where it says, I think it says watch list or watch party, watch party files, 
that's how it's listed on my phone. It's right above where everything is, but on a on a real laptop, it's over here, I think. And you got to go to files and click on it and then open it up and it'll take you to the March monthly prompts. So people keep saying, keep sending me messages saying, well, now that I have this, how do I know what to letter on it? Well, kids, I have taken that mystery out for you. So um, you can, today's word of the day, which we'll put on one of the pages is sunshine. And tomorrow's um, prompt is, where's your happy place? And I think the day after is something I'm proud of this month. So we'll talk about all those things. But you can use these prompts. Oh, and Betty Richardson has a Facebook page as well. Shamil, Shem, uh, Shamil Shamazel, sorry. Shamel, is that your uh, Facebook group link? So there's the link for Shamel's group. You can go over and join her group as well. We like to send each other back and forth to each other's pages. So that being said, Betty has a scrapbook or scrapbook uh, art page, and she's going to be putting out a list of prompts as well. So go follow Betty Richardson as well. We all have to help each other out, right, girls? If we won't do it, who will? Haas and Pfeffer Incorporated. <laughs> no, that's the link to your file. Oh, oh, thanks, Jamel. She put up the link to the files in the comments there, so you can click on that and get the March prompts. Yeah. All right. We're going to do the playful page today. I use playful colors. We're going to use collage elements, which are where? You know, I have everything organized until I begin. And then where on earth does it go? Oh, here. So today's playful page will be brought to you by collage elements. However, I don't have any colored, so I'm going to forego that. Um, what, what does Laura Ashley say? My mom found three of your old books at the Goodwill. <sighs> you young kids are so cute. I'm so happy. I'm so happy she found them. And if she finds the Scribbles book, that's the one you can sell and pay off your house with. From what I understand, it's going for like $900, which is stupid. Okay, so I don't have any of these colored because I just shipped out about 40 things this morning. And I put a lot of these um, extra ones in people's boxes. So what I have are parts and pieces that I had cut up. So these are the collage elements I thought would be perfect for today because it's raining. Um, here's the colorful rainbow that I've already pre-colored. And this one is, where is this one? Well, I guess it's from, oh, here. It's here. So it went from the black and white to the colored. So if you don't know about collage elements, these are available on my Etsy page, www.thepaperrabbit.etsy.com. And they are for every month. And then I'm working on ones that are uh, just everyday types of ones. So Betty says, I'm not selling my Scribbles book. It's sacred. <laughs> That's hysterical. Um, I do have a sales rep friend who has an entire case of them in her house. She told me two years ago, and she has not found them yet, but she knows they're there. So hold on, girls. There will be some available someday. Don't, don't hold your breath. Anyway, uh, so we're going to use collage elements because they are very playful. This fish is not a collage element, but she will be a collage element coming up. That's Goldie. Welcome, Goldie, to the playful playful page. Okay, so collage elements, we're going to use those. Then I wanted to once again give a shout out about the life documented. Hold on. So Laura Ashley was asking me, <laughs> this is so cute. She doesn't know what a blog is. She hasn't been to a blog before. So they do have a blog, which is Life Documented 2020, I think. You'll have to look it up. Life Documented 2020. So when I post my article, my photos, and my free collage pages, they will be on their page, on the Life Documented page of their blog. Right? Got that? They'll also be on their Facebook group page. But I think all they do there is they give you a link that'll take you over to their blog. I'm not quite sure how they work that all out. But that's this coming Saturday, which I believe is the 28th. I'm the featured artist on their Facebook page and on their um, other page. So if you guys do any pages using my art, which is this stuff, this will be what's available from them. Hold on, I'm trying to find it. Well, there's a part of it. 
There's another part of it because this is what I used already. So you'll be able to download these. You'll be able to download the uh, vintage tea stained page and you'll be able to download this, which you can then in turn color yourself and um, use that in your journals. And that's part of the whole reason that I'm doing this is kind of to give them a shout out for the life documented page. All right, so that is Saturday. And it'll be there forever and ever and ever. So they, they debut it on Saturday on their Facebook page. But you know, if you go back to Facebook trying to find it, it just scroll, it goes down and down and down as more people post, so it's hard to find. So um, Barbara, no blogs for you? No cooking blogs, really, nothing? You're the chocolate cake mayonnaise queen. Come on now. Um, oh, and <laughs> Shamel, you are my social secretary for the day. And Betty, you guys are doing great. Shamel just posted the link to the Life Documented page. It's lifedocumented17.blogspot.com, but it's there. You can click on it. You guys are the bomb. Okay, then Linda, I know Linda's here. She has been wanting to see a tip-in or a flip-out page, so I'm going to show that first of all. These are the pages we did yesterday, so we're going to get to that. All right, all right, hold on. Where is everything again? I have to find the book. Talk amongst yourselves. Really, Lindsay? Oh, here it is. So when I showed this book a while ago, Linda went nutso for this, and she's just going to pee when she finds out how simple this is. So this is my journal that I've been working on all year. Um with the prompts from me, from here, from this page, from our group. So these started out in January prompts and then it quickly got into February prompts and then it had this flip out page, right? And I think there was a tip in, I don't know, but I'm gonna show that. So that's what this journal is all about. All the prompts from my page, right? I do not see the comment with the link. Look for Shamel, like Michelle. Look for Shamel Lane's uh, name, it's, it's in there. Trust me, I'll post them later. I'll post them later, don't worry. Don't worry, I've been working so hard on that project that I'm not gonna let you guys miss it. All right, so, so then I, I went from doing both prompts to just the words, and then I went to, um, <laughs> I went to nothing because we went to, where are we? We're in this virus thing. So what I did was I cut some regular cardstock. Pay attention, Linda. Don't leave me. <laughs> and I don't measure. If you are a precise person and you want it to be precise on both sides, I don't like things precise. This here is called a bone folder. My dad had a thousand of these because he was a photographer. This is a real one. So I kept this one. It was made of bone which is really sad because it was elephant bone or walrus tusk or something. Now they're still called bone folders, but they're made of plastic. If you don't own one, don't go buy one. Let me tell you why. Let me go get something out of my kitchen cupboard. Like Betty, I'm gonna go run to the kitchen. All right, so I have a Mary Inglebright knife here. Look at, it's a Mary Inglebright, look at. It's my silverware. Isn't it cute? So if you don't use your bone folder and you don't have one, it's most, mostly important that you need a ruler and you want to go as straight as possible. Don't use the serrated edge. Use the dull edge. And I don't know if you can see that, but it scored the paper, right? We're going to fold it. Get ready, Linda. I hope you have some extra toilet paper as you are going to pee your pants when you see how easy this is. If I can find tape, you know, the best laid plan. I just had the tape, there it is. So we're gonna put this right here, right? So this one, let's go back to this one because I don't even remember how I did it. Oh, so I taped down one side, right, right? So I'm gonna do it this way actually. So we're gonna put the tape on the smaller end and you wanna go all the way around all four edges. And it would be super cute. I'll show you in a minute because I do have more. And then you line it up with the ba the uh, spine of your book. No, let's put it up here. And then you fold your book down. 
That's how I do it. <laughs> Betty, you need to change the name of your art group to Betty's Kitchen. Please, Betty's Art Kitchen. Let's all vote. Betty's Art Kitchen. So, Linda, that's it. Were you watching? That's it. So then what I did with this one was I tore the edge. I ripped the edge, which I can show you. Then on here, I drew. On here, I glued a piece of um, magazine page. So how do we rip the edge? Well, I tear towards myself because I like the raw edge part coming up towards me. And that's how we tear the edge. It's called tearing. <laughs> uh, let's take a vote. All right, so right, Betty, I mean, Betty, Linda, right? You catching that? So that's one way. Let's find another page. I don't want to do one right after it. So let's do it back here. So this would be a flip out. So I don't do it the way that the girls at Life Documented taught me or Documented Life. I do it a little differently. I use my dad's bone folder because, man, there's nothing like real bone. So once you score it and you fold an edge, you're going to glue it down and it can flip out, right? Flip out. You could put it this way and it could flip in. So back in the, the day, what's Betty saying? I have a kitchen cooking page and Betty's cooking. Oh my gosh, you're hysterical. Hysterical. <sighs> All right. So we're going to put it this way. And when I learned to do this from the girls with the Documented Life Project, they just used washi tape. I like to use both, tape and washi. And you want to put it as close to the edge as you can humanly get it and press it down. And then I like to, where's my pretty, I'm almost out of this washi, so I want to use it here. Then you're just going to use washi to cover it so you don't see the ugly flaps. Right? And I'll cut the edges in a second. I know, Linda, why didn't you think of that? Exactly. So it looks pretty ugly right now, but I'll do some lettering on it and you'll see that later. So basically, I just wanted to show how to do the tip in. And I have to cut this just because uh, it drives me to drink. And you want to follow the edge of your page if it's got a, um, whatchamacallit, if it's got a curve to it, a rounded edge, that's the word. Okay, well, Betty, we still like Betty's Art Kitchen. You can do all your posts from your kitchen. It'd be so cute. Okay, Linda, you got it? You got it? Actually, I'm going to do one more thing. This is my problem when I sit down to do stuff. I can't walk away until it's basically completed. So I don't want that to... No, I don't want that. Get off. I'm going to cut it. All right. So that teaches you tip-ins and fold-outs and pull-outs and... Right? There's a million trillion things you can do for mixed media and art journaling. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos last night, and then I found a girl on Instagram who's offering a week-long free class like this on art journaling. So see how pretty that is? And then I can do lettering here, lettering here. So it just kind of gives you an extra spot. Um, if your book is getting full, like I'm at the last page here, and I'm thinking, oh, sad, it's full, right? It just gives you extra space. All right. So, oh, I was going to show you this. So somebody sent me a card yesterday using my little girl. How cute is she, right? <laughs> this is what I do when you guys send me cards, just so you know. Got to go slow. She used made freezer paper. This is called freezer paper. This is a friend of mine, Karen Schumacher. Because April is the beginning of National Letter Writing Month. And don't you worry, we're going to talk about writing letters to each other. We're going to figure out a way to do that here. So you guys can all be each other's pen pals. Not me. Don't put me in that mix. I got enough people to write to. 
So this is the kind of stuff I want you to think about putting in your journal. So if somebody sends you a card, you can, um, you can tear it up and tape it down or an envelope or reuse the envelope or put the envelope in here to make pockets, okay? So we're gonna use her on these pages. So I wanted to, to scan all of these last night, but I didn't have time. Oh, she's for sure going there. So we're gonna use some of these today, so I won't be able to give them to you as freebies, but the ones that we don't end up using, I'll scan and they'll go in for free. You can use them as a freebie. Oh, I know what has to go with this. I think this one. Sometimes you just have to look at things. Oh, and then I tore up my piece of under paper, so I wanted you to see the reason that I put paper down today, I'm using white because I'm not really painting. But look at you can cut this out and we'll we'll cut well, here. We'll just cut. We'll just do it now. Cuz I see this happening right here. So you can use your under paper and you can make a cloud. Since we're going to be talking about rainbows today. Kathy, shh, don't tell anybody about that group, Kathy. They're going to want to join, and it's too late. Well, I don't like that, so use that somewhere. So we have this piece, and where's the big rainbow? Oh, here. I think we're going to go with that one, right? So... I do my backgrounds a day before, or, you know, I do all the painting and stuff ahead of time. Here's um, the biggest kept Lindsay secret I can tell you. I hate getting my hands dirty. I hate glue on my hands. I hate paint on my hands. I cannot stand dye like those sprays. Oh my gosh, I have to put on rubber plastic gloves. Guess what? Do I have any plastic gloves? No, because my husband took the whole box today because he's going to the gas station. And let me tell you, he is freaked out to get gas today. Freaked out. Okay, don't ever tell him I told you that. So he took the gloves. So that's why we're not painting today. But I hate getting stuff on my fingers. I think that's because I'm a lettering artist and you want to keep your hands clean, otherwise your paper's going to get dirty. So I try to get more... Uh, as my friend Kristen Powers at Rubber Moon would say, makey. I try to get a little bit more makey. Kristen also does good videos over at Rubber Moon. Um, but I, I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. So we have the option of... All right. Ugh. You know what? I didn't like these glue sticks either. Don't blame him. <laughs> I'm man, sh man shaming. No, he needed the gloves. He just didn't need to take the whole box. He could have left me some. And I didn't like this glue stick, remember, because I told you it was purple. But you know what? It works super good. Let me tell you what. All right, so the start to an art journal page. So do you remember we talked about our prompts? We're going to use the prompt sunshine. Oh, I should have done this in meh, meh. All right, so now that you have watercolor down here and you've got some layering, um, what works to write on these pages with? Posca marker. Oh, Kathy has a question. Hold on. When you watercolor your rainbow, are you waiting for each color to dry? Oh, heck no, techno. Before you paint the next color, mine all ran together yesterday. Well, if that's what happens, then you're using too much water and not enough color. But I use cardstock. Sometimes on uh, watercolor paper, you have to wait a little while in between each color for it to dry. 
I mean, it just depends on your paper and how much water you're using and how much color, right? It just depends. I'm going to bring this down. So that's kind of, you just have to see what works for you and with the paper that you're working. Um, so this pen works. Sharpies work. My most favorite of all, Identipen works. Um, and I was going to try this Kelly Creates um, brush pen. I think we'll try them on the back. So this is the Kelly Creates brush pen. But I don't think I want brush lettering. Nope, I for sure don't want that. Sharpie. Kathy says, I was using mixed media paper. Thank you, less water. I don't know. I mean, that that's what I would think. Hopefully this doesn't run through or we're going to have to cover it up. That's a Sharpie. It works. Karen Boudreau, I was just talking about you at the beginning of the video. What was I saying? I, I have no idea. Okay, the problem with a really skinny um, Posca pen is if you go really fast, it'll spritz. So that's a Posca. This is an Identi pen. We did those yesterday on the Adornit Buy It Live. You can buy those from Adornit because they are very hard to find in stores. This is a Sharpie. I'm afraid to turn it over because I think the Sharpie soaked through. And this one is a Kelly Creates. Okay, so they all work. And no, none of them soak through. So we're going to use the IdentiPen. Sorry, Laura, Ashley. So where are we going to put sunshine? I think we'll do it down here. So here's where your lettering comes in handy, folks. Because for journaling, I like to do a big word. Not like a big word that I don't understand. Not that kind of big word. Like a larger word to be my heading, my main word. And then I'll journal somewhere else. Maybe I'll journal down here because the sun is not shining as we speak. So that's kind of where my journaling comes in. And usually... I'm not good like some other artists I know that post their journaling online. Um, I know Diane Reevely, is that it? Diane Reevely? She doesn't care if you read her stuff or not, but mine sometimes gets personal, so I do not post my journaling. And I don't recommend it. I mean, I do recommend it. I recommend not posting your journaling. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, so then you guys have this sheet... Oh, you have these sheets. Hopefully you printed these out, right? These are the freebies that are in the um, files here, right? Is that Bristol paper or generic cardstock? Betty's asking. I think it's watercolor paper, I want to say, but I don't know. Karen says, I was watching the news. It's more fun to watch you. Oh, heck yeah. So hopefully you printed these out. I printed them on sticker paper. So these are in the files. So this is the words. You can color on this. This is the words that's distressed. And this is that cool sheet of um, alphabets overlapped. So here's what I'm going to do. Usually I just cut a circle and it doesn't matter. But for some reason today I want it to be more precise. So I'm going on the back side of this so I can see better. And this is going to be my son. And we're going to see if you can watercolor on top of this sticker paper. I think you can. And quite honestly, I should have watercolored first, but push comes to shove. And what do I do? Uh, oh, that's going to be cool. Carolee says, lettering shares our thoughts, and it's a perfect way to express good. Great job. Thanks, Carolee. Um, what sticker paper do I use? Whatever they happen to have at the printers. But this is from kellypaper.com if you want to buy your own. It's called a crack and peel. You know, it has the little crack there where you um, put it down. 
Hey, guess what? I found all my adornment water brushes from yesterday. Isn't that funny? It's funny, I think. Okay, so let's move this for a second. All right, somebody say a prayer as we do this. That. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. You can color on matte finish sticker paper. Is it going to dry? I'm going to say yes, it is. Hi, Nancy. Betty, there, it's, it's, uh, uh, what's it called? I already said it. Uh, they're by Kelly Paper Company. But I think you could get Avery ones, too. I just happen to have mine done at the printer. More good paper for tomorrow. stamp this down. That'll help dry it. Oh my god, is that cool. Okay, cool. So then you crack and peel this puppy. Pull your sticker part off of the back. Can you move the circle to the left a bit? What do you mean? What do you mean, Deanna? I'm putting it here. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I'm putting it here. And I'm putting this to the back because I'm lazy and not wanting to cut it. Oh my God, that's super cool. So there's my son. All right, now what I want to try is, so art journaling and mixed media and stuff is a lot of experimentation, which is what I love the most. So these are the watercolor pencils that I found yesterday that I love to death from Adorn It. And here I said I wasn't gonna paint today. When you were painting the circle, we couldn't see it. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. But I happen to love, love, love these watercolor pencils. And do you know what watercolor is? It never dries, it's water-based. <laughs> so if you color on top of it, you're gonna get, this is gonna color in as well that was already down there. So I can add more color to it, a different color, and create different looks and different blends of color. Cool, eh? See if I've answered everybody's questions so far. And yes, the identipan was a good choice because it loves watercolor. This just wants, makes me want to sing the John Denver song. I've been singing John Denver songs for days, though, because from uh, Ashley at the Sunnyside Up Studios, she sent me a Mountain Mama sweatshirt that I bought. So I've been singing... Take me home, country roads, to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama. There we go. That's where I was. Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. She's doing a live video at noon, and she's going to illustrate lettering that's nautical. I can't wait to see that. I'm not sure yellow is going to work real well, but let's try it. A little bit. I can pull yellow off of this. Question, Carolee, can you spray miss a matte sealer spray on top of your watercolor project and it stops the... Oh no, you can. I'm gonna, I was gonna say, Carolee, you know the answer to that. Yes, you can spray a... Um, I think it's a pastel for using with pastels. Carolee, help us out here. Is it a pastel spray sealer? But you can spray a, a fixative that goes on the top so that it'll stop, and then you can do other mediums on top of it, if that makes sense, I hope.
Oh, this white paper is going to be cool when I'm done. All right, now what do we want to do next? All right, so this sheet that has all the words is just going to be fabulous. So I printed this on sticker paper as well, because to me, and see that line that's above the words? Don't cut through that, because you can use that for a line. You can use every part of this. And what I would do normally <laughs> is I would cut these out and put them in an envelope so they're all pre-cut or a pouch or a sheet protector or something. Betty says, Krylon acrylic matte sealer works great too. I'm sure you can use almost any fixative. Probably should have used this with one of the little girls, but that's okay. We're gonna put it right here because we all need some positive Oh, I'm not even going to color that, I don't think. Right? It's pretty good just like that. And then I'm going to do some journaling here. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Uh, Carolee says, I love Krylon matte spray, but there are several choices on the market. Hold project away. Yeah, stand far back, kids. Don't get real close up. I go about 12 inches away because otherwise you're going to get a really concentrated wet. Ugh, it's going to be awful. So I'm going to leave this page as it is, I think, um, after I add a little bit of white. And then I'm going to do my journaling later. And if you start looking at art journalers, a lot of them don't actually journal journal. They just create a page. Like some people would do this and they would be done. But I look at this and I see lettering. So not everybody does lettering. Anita, where can you find this, that sheet? This sheet? It's free. Only through Sunday. Here in the files section of Creative Hand Lettering with Lindsay. Then it will be available for purchase at my Etsy store. Why is it free this week? Because this is Art Journaling Week. And you guys are the ones that are here. So you can go there and download it, keep it forever and ever, print it out when you need. It is there, Anita. Anita, you were supposed to be my in-house secretary today. Why didn't you drive up here with a mask and some gloves? Goober. Silly goobers. All right. If you don't have the white pen, you can get it in the quotables box kit from Adorn It that I showed yesterday because it is hard to find otherwise. I'm just telling you, this white pen is the bomb. Oh, not gonna work good. We'll use a colored pencil. Where's the lid? Ah, there we go. yellow. So I'm going back and forth between Prismacolors and the watercolor pencils because I don't think the watercolor pencils are quite as buttery as the Prismacolor. They are definitely buttery. All right, so I think I need to be done now. If you, if you zoom your camera out, we could see more of what you're doing. Okay, you mean like that? Thank you. Who is that? Renata, thank you. And Rose says, I'm safe today. The stupid boyfriend is out moving cows. <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw that post yesterday where Rose uh, on Rose's comment, it just said stupid. So I had to make, send her a note and say, uh, what? What do you mean stupid? That's not very nice. 
Some people would probably save this and use this, but I wouldn't. Okay, so I want to be done with this page because I'm just going to journal here, and to me, that's done, right? Or you could make this into a card, or because I didn't put it in a book, I could put it um, in a frame, a picture frame. So, yeah, done. I want to do this one because this has been pissing me off since yesterday. You guys can see better now. I'm so sorry that I zoomed up close. Uh, okay. Hi, Sid. So see that little booger there? That really frosted me. So hold up, hold up. I have this piece of scrapbooking paper we're going to tear. And cut. Tear and cut and tear and cut. Oh, yeah, baby. I mean, half of it is just about what you have around you on your table, which is why I say don't have too much stuff to begin with because it forces you to use the stuff that you have right in front of you. Um, it makes your mind have to be creative. Which, oh, look at, there's that purple. Doesn't that bug kids? Bugs me. I know it dries clear, so I'm okay. But it's kind of making me mad. Anyway, so just have small amounts of things in front of you, and it forces you to use what you have in front of you. That's why I have a lot of friends who go out and buy all the new tools and all the new dyes and all the new sprays. I say go shop what you have. If you have acrylic paint and you don't have any sprays, but you do have an old Windex bottle, you can take acrylic paint and some water and make your own spray. Lots of water, less paint. Spray. Oh, so much happier now. Yay, that makes me happy, Stephanie. Boy, I almost ripped this. This this paper is so dang thin that this girl made me that card on. Oh. It's hard to know where to put it. I think there. So I should have used that other quote for here, but whatevs. We're going to use one of these quotes. see. Oh, no, I don't like that. This is the tea stained one. I believe that's in there too. I think these are all three of these are in the files. If they're not, here's a quarter. Call someone who cares. I'm kidding. Of course I care. Oh, so cute. And I know I've told this story before, but my friend Melody Ross from Brave Girls Club, she taught me years ago that you don't really need a paper cutter. All you need is a good scissors. So don't worry about it being perfect. Just worry about getting it done. And hold on. And if you are a scrapbooker and you use scrapbooking paper, save every scrap. Get a little accordion file and save your scraps because they will work in the strangest places. See, I'm a scrapbooker from way back. I mat things and mount things. When you look at Shamel's page, pages, go follow Shamel. She's the most amazing scrapbooker, and it's so inspiring to watch her work. And it's just so fun to listen to her cute little accent, which is American London, America to London, because she's a transplant. Oh, look at that I just found. Bitchin'. 
I don't like any of those. Uh, maybe that. Nope. Mm -mm. Too scrapbooky. So, does this inspire you guys to go do this? I want you to stick some lettering on things now. Look at that paper is so much yellower. That is cheap paper. So we're not gonna use that one. So where's our prompts? Uh, where's my happy place or something I'm proud of this month? I have no idea. I was feeling creative for a minute there and I lost it all. Where's something else we were supposed to use? Oh. Ugh. That's just too much watercolory. See what else I have here in the way of junk and stuff. No, no, no. I have a map. Map? No. These are some old um, collage sheets that I had from somewhere. And an old file folder. I just love that color. But it doesn't go with anything here, so never mind. I guess we'll just write something. Just, I just don't feel like writing. Use a new thought. I need to see Shamel. I have some scrapbooks. Oh, you'll just die when you see her stuff. It's so good. I don't know. So we're just going to write the word proud, and then I can journal up here. Like I said at the beginning of this, I am just not feeling it today. Today's gonna be a day where I'm gonna do paperwork instead of art, because sometimes it happens. And I have to go to the post office, so I think that's the real problem. I'm really freaking out about going to the post office. Well, I hate that, so, you know. Sorry, guys. Nothing that I can't fix or cover up if all else fails. Or maybe just put a fishy swimming in here. Okay, where's my brush? Here it is. I do like working with these colored pencils. If you guys didn't buy them yesterday, I'm sorry. You should go get them today. I think the links are saved above. You can still purchase this stuff. If not, you can send a message to info at adornit.com if you want to get these watercolor pencils. I'm liking it way better now. Whenever I say that I don't like something or my friends say they don't like something, we say get the duct tape to keep your mouth shut because it's good. Everybody else likes it. You just don't. So that's what I was getting ready to tell myself, is get the duct tape. Oh, now I like it. Linda says, what's Shamel's last name so I can find her on Facebook? Lane, L-A-I-N-E, I believe. But it may be Designs by Shamel. There's really only one Shamel in this world, Linda, I think. She was telling me the reason that her mom called her Chamel, but I can't remember it now. If she's still here, she'll tell us, but she's got a little one, so she's probably out and about now. Go away, fishy. So I think that's all I'm going to do here. Nope, I found this, and I really like it. Here's my Tim Holtz stapler. Why do I love it so much? That right there is why I love this. Because it just creates a cool little element. Nope. I will use this up because it's too cool. 
it just becomes a design element and it attaches things really quickly if you're a person like me that doesn't like their hands all gluey. Sorry, Chamel Lane. Yeah, that's it, Chamel Lane. We're going to cut a few circles. I'll show you how I cut my circles. We'll probably do this again because circles are my favorite thing. And that's kind of a boring green, so we're gonna give it some color. This is um, Art 101. This is pure raw talent here, kids. You'll see what happens when we cut it up. I know, I know this is, looks really difficult. You don't have to tell me. I'm sorry if you're not as good as I am at scribbles. All right, your picture froze? Is it back? Is your picture back? Sorry, if it's not, I'm gonna move move on. I hope it comes back. All right, circles. I cut into it like that, and then I create rings out of circles. Are you guys back? Carol's back. You can do thick ones and skinny ones, short ones, fat ones. It's much better when you have adhesive on the back. All right. But we have the technology here. We have a glue stick. We're going to start right there. <clears throat> And the key to these is not gluing it down all the way until you have it figured out what you want to do. I never glue it back together until I loop the rings together. And you can cut circles out of everything. See how cute that is? Sometimes you have to put a page away and then come back to it too. But I like it. Oh, Linda Gooling wants to know about the stapler. It's a Tim Holtz ideology stapler. I talked about it yesterday. And um, when you buy it, buy extra staples. Promise me you'll buy the extra staples because you never know. But what I like about it is it has a long reach. And you can make little crisscrosses, little X's. I have to do things in threes. It's the uh, design school nerd in me. Isn't that cool? Let's do this on here too, just for shits and giggles. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, kids. Wait, Michelle, what have you been anxiously waiting for? Did I miss something? Oh, well, <laughs> now I like that. That's good. I'm really sorry that I cussed. If there are any small children here, I am so sorry. So sorry. So this is going to point to my lettering because that's where my journaling is going to go. I just found this stamp. I drew that. I never use stamps of mine. All right, so I think, I think that's good enough for that page, right? Uh-oh. And that's it for there for me for today. Laura Ashley says, did you look at my last comment? No. Was that way before? Laura Ashley says, off topic. Did you see they halted production of season four? What? No Handmaid's Tale? Is that because of the virus? 
don't make me cry. Okay, so if anybody has questions, now's the time because I'm going to put my pencils back and head to the post office. Um, tomorrow we will be tackling ephemera, which means I have to go on a walk, a walk about through the house and find ephemera to show you. I do have quite a bit, and we've talked about a lot of it, but we're going to use some more in the pages. Um, I didn't use a whole lot here, you know, but I love using trash. Oh, see how cute that would be? So I save lots of things while I'm doing my art journaling, and then I get rid of them. I can't, I can't save everything. That's the big problem. When you start doing this, you'll start looking at things differently, and you'll be like, oh, well, this would work on a page. So, oh, the stapler is on Amazon. Thank you, Sidley. That's very cool. Uh, anyhow, you can save everything. But, I mean, if I'm not going to use this today, then I'm not going to use it. <laughs> but am I going to use it? Uh, I just think I will now. Because I'm cleaning up and I didn't want to throw it away. And, oh, that's the other thing. You don't have to stay on your page. Go off your page as well. It's very cool. So you can have little flaps. You can have things sticking up here. I could punch, hold on. I could punch a hole in this like this. I don't think I have anything here to tie through it right now. Because I gave all my scraps to Linda. Oh no, look, I do. I do have a few still. So punch holes and tie stuff through it. Fabric scraps. And Linda, you need to go buy some fat quarters. Walk into the fabric store and ask the ladies to show you where their fat quarters are. They're like 2 and $3. They're cheap. And um, then you can use fabric scraps on stuff if you're not a seamstress or a sewer. Or just if you have a friend who's a stitcher and has fabric scraps, give them a bag and tell them, fill this up for me. Lindsay says I need fabric scraps. So yeah, don't keep, your page doesn't have to be, you know, it can be three-dimensional. It doesn't have to be one dimension. Okay, well, I'm super happy with that page. Yeah, Kathy's going to go make rings and circles. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so how cute is that? I may not even do any journaling on it. Oh, the other fun thing is you can do journaling on the back of your page and make it a flip-in. Remember, a tip-in or a flip-out or a whatever that word's called. Where's my book? Where's my book? I threw it on the floor. So, like, this is too big for this book, but I could if I had a larger book. No, oh, maybe it's not too big. Oh, my God. Becky. Yeah, I could put that down there, and it could be a flip-in, right? So, that's it for today. That's it with the lesson for today. So we did this one and this one. So we did the sunshine one, cute, with the rainbow collage element. And this was from your freebies here. Uh, Roma, I mean KP, I did mention nautical lettering. So if you go over to the Sunny Side Up Studio, I believe, the Sunny Side Up Studio, she has a new a new art page. You may have to join the new one that's just for lessons, but it's the Sunny Side Up Studio, and she's doing that at 12 noon today, Mountain Standard Time, which would be 11 o'clock my time, but I don't know what time where you are. Okay, so, and there's my other one. God, these are my colors. Aren't they cool? Oh, that just makes me so happy. So there's my two pages, which may actually turn into postcards, i got to tell you, because it's National Letter Writing Month almost, and i got a lot of postcards to send. Um, questions? You can always message me. You can leave questions and comments here, and I will try to look at them. We'll meet back here to talk about ephemera tomorrow and washi tape, because why? Hold on, I'll tell you why. Because you can never have too much washi tape, and that's just one of several rings of washi that I have. Hi, Charlotte. Those are your colors, too? Okay. 
The Sunny Side Up Studio. Yeah. All right. So are we done? I'm going to miss you guys. Oh, hold up. I want to show you what I made. I haven't decided. It's probably going on Etsy, so don't get mad at me. But I think it's going to be a collage element background sheet. I think I'm going to do several of these, and then there'll be a whopping $2 or $4. But look at that. Oh, my God. Isn't it cool? We're going to end with that. It has uh, five layers, and it has mica gold. Look at the mica gold. Five layers on that. A little bit of Lindsay Washi, some words under there, some quotes. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to do several of these um, background sheets. You print them out on, uh, yes, greens and blues are the colors I choose. Sharla, I have to write that down immediately. <sighs> greens and blues are the colors I choose. So let me go down with my dreams. And rock a by sweet baby Jane. Hold on. This is the problem with following me. Colors I choose. I gotta write that down. That's going in a journal. Anyway, so I'm gonna make collage sheets with this. And what I like to do with these is print them out on plain paper and then cut my circles and stuff out of them or cut hearts or cut squares or cut letters. So I think Friday we're gonna talk about Chunky Monkey. So if I was a nice human, which I'm pretty nice, I'm not that nice, but I'm, I'm okay. I think I'll probably post this here for you guys to download first. And then like with everything else, it'll disappear on Sunday. So you print it out on just plain paper because on Friday we're gonna do Chunky Monkey letters and how bitchin' would Chunky Monkey be out of this stuff, right? It's pretty cool. And you can't look at it as a whole because look at just that little part right there is so cool. Or just this little part right here is so cool. So you have to look at it as just little parts and pieces. I'm going to miss you guys today because I really just want to go to bed. So have a good day. I love you as always. And Debbie, you got to go back and watch the replay. Yeah. Corey, Teresa, and Corey are here again, mother and daughter. <sighs> I, I'm just reading so many messages here. Deborah says, gorgeous background. Charlotte says, I love you. I love you too. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Um, maybe I'll scan these as well. Do you guys want these in the files so you can print them out before I use them to make something else out of? So I'll scan these three items right now. All right, so look for those in the files in about, I don't know, I don't know how long, 10 minutes. Have a good time. See you. Love you. Bye. Bye.